Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Eco Global Survival, another episode of my multiplayer Let's Play. The goal for today is to get electronics level 5. That is the big goal. We're, we're halfway through 4, so it shouldn't be too bad. We want to make these modern upgrade 3s. Of course, we all want to make sure we also have the materials <laughs> to make some, so we're going to be short on epoxy right now. So I'm going to go visit Josh, buy some. Um, Manny has some for sale too. I might do that. It's a much longer trip to see Manny than it is to see Josh, but I will likely do both. Ro just delivered a bunch of fiberglass to me, 100. So we're making some substrate. We'll use that to make some circuits. And away we go. That should get us to five. And then we can make some modern upgrade threes. And uh, yeah, like I said in the last episode, going from an upgrade two to an upgrade three, it's 15% jump from 25 to 40. So that's pretty significant. Um, so I'd like to get that done ASAP. And just making substrate and circuits should get us there. Get me there. So yeah, that is the main goal for today. We'll do some mining. I'm um, hoping to have my uh, permanent tailing storage on the go. Hopefully in this episode. If not in this episode, hopefully soon. Uh, I did just have my second COVID vaccine. So I may not feel like doing much of anything, you know, three hours from now or whatever. We will see. Hopefully I don't feel any side effects. Um, but yeah, that's the main goal for today is Electronics 5. Uh, maybe get some more roads down out towards City Hall. Someday I'd like to improve this road as well. Um, it's not a, I know it's not a high traffic road, but I'm sure Josh, <laughs> I'm sure Josh feels differently. I'm sure he'd love to have it improved. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, the main thing today. So let's buy all of this. Let's buy all of this. I don't need much plastic directly. Um, it's more row needs plastic. Wow, I am broke. People must have been selling me stuff. Well, I'm not broke, but I'm getting there. I'm getting low, but I got lots of claim papers I can turn in for loonies if I need to. It's not a big deal. Money is not a big issue right now. So yeah. I'm gonna go uh, work on some of the things that I'm that I want to work on. I'll be back with an update soon. All right, so I just came over to Sesame Street to uh, make a purchase, and I got to give the guys credit over here. I feel like every time I come over here, it's a little different. They always seem to add an extra little wrinkle or two. It's looking good though. I like it. But I came over to visit Manny. Manny's Wood. More, more like Manny's oil products now. <laughs> so we're gonna buy hundred epoxy, and that's a fiberglass too, I think. Yeah, it's not cheap. Nope, I can't even afford to buy it all. <laughs> Twenty, I'll have to do. I am officially poor. That is fine. That is for the greater good. I will get that money back in spades once I actually start making stuff for people to buy. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm digging I'm digging Sesame Street here. and oh, oh, I'm stuck. And the church. I showed the church already, right? Oh, I like this garage door. I think I showed the church. The first church of the big blue bird. Anyway, that's the church. That's Sesame Street. Muppet Lane stop sign. Look at the signs. I like the signs. I'm digging the signs. All right. Time to take my uh, little butt back over to my house and keep making electronic stuff. As you can see by the experience bar, I am getting close to level five. Looking forward to it. All right. You look over here, you will see level five electronics. So let's grab a modern upgrade two out of this machine here. And let's go over. And you know what we're doing? We're making a modern upgrade three because we have the stuff. Boom. Shakalaka. Nice. So that'll take almost four minutes, but 40% is much better than 30 or than 25. Last I checked. So that's good. That's a big, it's a big, uh, big uh, milestone for me and for the server. I don't think Len's there yet. 
Oh, she's level four though, so she's getting there. She'll be there soon too. So there'll be two of us pumping out the modern upgrade threes, in addition to a whole bunch of other stuff that we need to make. I know Ro wants another solar generator, so we'll be able to make that soon. I just need some servos, and I want my robotic assembly line, and I want my throth flotation cell relatively soon, if possible. But it'll take a bit. We need some supplies. We need some fiberglass. We need some copper. We need some gold. So we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go get some of those, I think. But you know what? We're gonna do first. We're gonna make some sand. Sixty sand coming right up. Beautiful. All right. So I'm, I'm excited. That's one thing I was hoping would happen today, and it happened pretty early in the day. So that's a good thing. So I will be back with an update with some. Uh, with some modern upgrade threes plugged into my equipment, I hope. All right, so I'm just down in my tailing storage, which is a long way from my house. <laughs> I just realized as I look at the map, that's fine. So I'm down at level 25. So the idea is I'm going to make a uh, little little room for sta for tailings out here. So I'm going to dig down two. So technically the tailings will um, exist at level 28. Because the highest point of the stockpile is where they are, right? That should be plenty deep. Basically, the way tailings work is um, every five um, Z levels here below the surface reduces the pollution by 50%. So I think when I, when I checked earlier, the Z level of the surface here was like, oh, I forget the exact number, it was 60 something. So let's just say for the sake of argument that it's 60 on the nose. It's a little higher than that, but we'll just use 60 as an example. So if you just stored them on the surface, they'd obviously pollute at 100%. If you buried them at level 55, you'd only get 50% pollution. If you went down to level 50, it would only be 25%. 45 would be 12.5, right? 40 would be 6. You get the idea. But basically when you get down to the level in the 20s like we are here you're basically talking like one less than one percent pollution so they're basically not polluting at all now i'm gonna have my work cut out for me because unfortunately i didn't do this at the start so i have like six stockpiles worth of tailing built up so i'm gonna have to uh dig out a lot but that's actually not a bad thing right now because the server's desperately needing glass right now so i can uh what i can do is i can turn the sandstone into sand and uh, buy quick lime from row at a, at a good reasonable price and I can turn all that into glass is the plan and then uh, yeah then we can make glass we can turn some of that in fiberglass sell some then oh there's several other people desperately seeking glass because right now the only glass workers are uh, Manny and I I believe unless somebody took it in the last like 20 minutes nope just Manny and I and Manny's not even level 6 so he's he hasn't even been pounded into glass. Well, the thing is with glass is it's needed early. Well, early-ish when you get it first. And then you use it as a building material. And then it's needed late for fiberglass. But there's a stretch in the middle of the game where you don't need a lot of glass. Like I wasn't I wasn't at level 7 glass ring for a while either. But anyway, that's the plan. For my, I don't know. I won't have this finished tonight. But at least it would be nice to have a couple stockpiles down here. And oh. Actually, looks like I'm going to have to make a couple stockpiles as well. But, I mean, that's just, that's wood. <laughs> I think I can manage a couple of stockpiles. So, yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now. So, I'm going to continue uh, digging away here. My truck must be almost full. Yep, one more load. All right, I'll be back soon. All right, so I'm just in our copper and gold mine here, and I found a little discovery. Um, well, let's back it up a bit. So, this is the copper mine. As you can see, <laughs> we're hitting granite in like three, actually four of the directions already. So that's concerning, right, for the long-term viability of the copper mine. There's granite. Now, it does extend down considerably, so that gave me some hope. But I was still a little concerned about the long-term viability of it. And honestly, digging down is probably my least favorite um, direction to dig. So I wasn't a big fan <laughs> of this mine. And well, look, it doesn't even go that far down for that matter. Well, I'm on the edge. It might go further over there. Anyway, so I was in the gold part, digging up some gold, as you can see. And what do I find in our gold mine? 
copper. <laughs> so this kind of makes me feel better, especially now I'm assuming this is the same vein of copper, right? I doubt it's a different vein, but this is kind of funny how far this copper goes. It does not go the full 15, but pay attention to the last one. It turns back into gold <laughs> after being 14 wide copper. So I do not think we are going to need to worry about running out of gold or copper this run. Which is nice because apparently it is a valid concern, especially copper. I mean, iron you're not going to run out of because like, it's like the whole length of the desert, right? But copper, you need a lot of copper. You need more copper than gold for sure. So I had concerns. I wasn't concerned about, uh, oh, who bought my wood carts? Hopefully one of the new person people. Yeah, JR. Cool. See, I just, uh, I just restocked my store with a bunch of noob-friendly things. Well, here, wood carts. <laughs> In addition to, where's my store? My store in the water. So I, if you're a new player, one of our new people. Oh, let me, so I put like rocker boxes, water wheels, stone road tool, uh, kiln, mill, a couple bloomers, a couple of rasters, a windmill, right? And if... If you're looking for this stuff, and I put it at a pretty good price, I feel. Um, if you're looking for this kind of stuff and it's sold out, let me know. I can make it, or Len, you know. Well, Len can't make all that. A lot of that's engineering, but not all of it. So I shouldn't just say, that's Len. Um, <laughs> but yeah, most people will make that stuff for you. None of it's very expensive. Oh yeah, look at that. They're just cleaning that stuff up. All right, well, I'm going to have to go make more of that stuff then. But that's why I made it for is so that our newer players... Especially mining type stuff, because right now, if you're one of our newer players, or if you want to join, like, if you're like, oh, they're like two and a half weeks in, I'm not going to join now. I'm not going to be useful. I'll tell you right now, if you join um, and take mining and then either smelting or glass working, you will be quite useful. We only have two glass workers, and we're like, as you can see, I got multiple glass queued up. I've been on for the last two hours. I don't think my kiln has stopped making glass the whole time. Um, we have a bunch of smelters, but their play times are erratic. Turkish is their only, I would say Turkish is their only full-time smelter right now. Although a couple of the new people like JR who just bought that stuff from me, he's going into smelting, I think. But I mean, smelting never stops being valuable. You will always need iron. You will always need bronze, bronze. There's no bronze, Luch. <laughs> You will always need iron, gold, and copper. So yeah, because you will need steel. We need iron for steel. Yeah, so come join us. Still lots of space. It's a big world. Um, we got a good core group. Uh, it's a 60-day meteor. So we still got like five weeks left. And, you know, if people want to keep going after that for a little while longer, we will. But if people want to start fresh, then we'll probably start fresh. But come check us out. Um, links in... Links in the description below to my Discord. All the information to join is there. All right, so I am uh, going to take this gold back. Yeah, it's full. So I'm going to go back to base, uh, get this turned into ingots, and then uh, turn it into whatchamacallit. Yeah, that's right. Whatchamacallit. Um, <laughs> flakes, flakes, gold flakes, luch. Words are hard. All right, uh, enough rambling. I'll be back. All right, so I made myself a froth flotation cell, I think they're called, to better concentrate copper and uh, gold specifically because, like, this machine only does iron and sand. So I've had to use the crappy old rocker box that I've had since, like, day one, right, to concentrate those. So let's take a look at the cell here. It's not super more efficient, but it's definitely more efficient. Uh so it's 10 for 2, whereas that one that we just looked at is 6 for 1. And this is 7 for 2 instead of 4 for 1. So particularly gold, particularly, it's more efficient. Um, but I'm sure you've noticed the issue now, or issues. A, it's gigantic, and B, it has an input and output for water. So before I saw the size of it, I my plan was, so you see, I see this little hole here. I was just going to run a pipe down. And over to wherever it was. That's the water input. Oh, level 7 electronics. Nice. Or it's not 7, 6. Apparently reading numbers is hard. Um, so that's the water input. And this is the sewage output, right? So 
shouldn't be too hard to hook up the water if I run that pipe underneath. But I don't know about space. <laughs> All right, so let's take this off and take this, pick this up. Because I mean, so this will be gone, right? But I still need both of these. Oh my goodness, I don't know about this, folks. Well, let's pick everything up and see what we can do, I guess. That's all I can really do. Like, why am I carrying around fur seeds and fiddleheads and <laughs> all this junk right now? I should probably not carry that stuff around. At least that'll stack with that nicely. His active projects. Oh, not for long. All right. All right, so let's pick this up. Let's start with you. Let's get it down first, and we'll kind of work around it. Does it even fit here? <laughs> Question one. All right, it does, but that's like no room for error. So I could just pipe here, join up there. The other pipe I would have to run underneath. But that's fine. I can make that happen. I could fit something in behind, probably. Right? Like, why do I have this crap in my inventory still? I really need to get rid of it. <laughs> will this fit here? It will. All right. Okay. Okay. Might be able to make this work. Will this fit here? Oh, my God. We made it work. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Well, how many, how much storage can they, do they touch here though? Large East. No large West. Okay. This is enough. This is enough storage. Right? Isn't it? I think so. About this one, large East, basically the same. I mean, oh yeah, but this input, I might have to spin this. Yeah, the water's going to be an issue, the pipes, right? It's like I need one more space. Can I get this pipe to connect? Or can I get this one to come up? This might work. It just might work. Oh, <laughs> careful. All right, so I know where I need to come up now. Oh, uh, where to throw these? Right there. All right, so I'm going to get try to get this hooked up. You don't need to see this whole process. Or do you? Maybe you do. Maybe you want to. I don't know. I don't know what people want. Okay, that was too easy. <laughs> I'm being honest. Uh, I might have to go down below for this one. Tat's popping off tonight, by the way. Oh, am I going to be able to drive under this, though, is the question. I may have to pull the ceiling up. Oh, plus I'm flooding my basement here. Okay, hold up. Hold the phone. Um, okay, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Ah, total panic. Okay. There. <laughs> we'll hook that one up last. All right. Should I, should I test to see if I can drive under this? Do I really need to drive under that? I don't know. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Let's find out. Let's find out if I can. But I think to... You get caught up, like, no, I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, yeah, look at that space. Look at that clearance. All right. All right. I'm going to put a little break in. I'll be back. You don't need to see all this. <laughs> all right. Froth flotation cell is a go. That is. <laughs> I'm just, I'm amazed this fit. This works. I'm going to get caught up in this pipe right here all the time, though, because i got to come back here to hook these up. But this is way more efficient than the rocker box. So that's 
that's a big win for me. Especially since I'm the only one who has one right now. Wah ha ha ha. I'm sure everybody else that wants one will have one before too long, though. All right, so now what's next on the list? All right, well, I still need to make one more modern upgrade three or two. Okay, so this has one. This has nothing in it right now, but I'm making a three. And this machine that I still haven't used <laughs> doesn't have one. All right, so I need to get an MU1 from Ro. Speaking of Ro, he's here. All right, so I'm going to go talk to Ro. I'll be back. All right, so I had a little issue with my old uh, froth flotation cell. Um, basically, my water pump couldn't keep up. <laughs> when I was running at both blast furnaces, the steam engine, which would obviously have to run if the flotation thing was running, and the flotation cell, if all four were running, they couldn't all run at the same time, basically. It wasn't getting enough water, so I had to add an extra mechanical water pump. Um so I did. I just added another one. Not a big deal. Not <laughs> not exactly breaking the breaking the wheel here. <laughs> and I speaking of wheel, I put an extra water wheel down. And uh I don't think uh I'm not too worried about putting them in water because the patch that's gonna make water wheels actually need water. I don't think it's coming anytime soon. And I mean if I need to change that water wheel, it's just I just need to drop it down. It was just quick, easy, done, fix, right? So right now I'm just waiting for servos and I'll be able to make my robotic assembly line. So that's the big uh, big goal for tomorrow, I guess you could say. Let's just take a peek. I think I need seven servos, which I'm hoping Purple will uh, be able to queue up. Yep, seven servos and we're good to go. So that'll be good. That'll be a big uh, big milestone. And then we can try to look at a skid steer, but it's going to be tough. At any rate, I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to join the server, links in the description down below to my Discord. The information is there. Hope to see some more folks. We're uh, we're doing pretty good. We got, uh, got some new people. We got all kinds of people on. Some new, some old. Good core group, it seems. So yeah, hope to see you soon. Have a great day. Be good to each other. And I'll see you in the next one.